Today we're going to have a return to, to West Africa. Sort of uh, up the road from Namibia, we're going to be looking at the uh, Côte d'Ivoire, and in particular, we're going to be looking at Balen. Balen, a new giant oil field in Côte d'Ivoire, West Africa. Now, Balen takes its name from the French word for a whale, and uh, here you can see a fine creature leaping out of the water, and that's uh, the origin of the name of the field. So here is the approximate location of the Belen field, and you can see it's on the towards the east of uh, the Côte d'Ivoire offshore area, close to the border with Ghana. So here's a map showing the location of Belen, and uh, you can see it is to the west of the border with Ghana and the Ten and Jubilee fields. On this map, it looks to be a very, very sizable feature. The block is operated by uh, ENI and Petra C are the partners in that. It was discovered in August 2021 and uh, its final investment decision was made in December 2022. Now, first production is actually due in June 2023. So that's under two years from discovery to first oil, which is very, very impressive to turn that around. Now, the stirrup is thought to be of the order of about 2.5 billion barrels. So that's uh, the oil in place. That's the resource size. And the gas in place is of the order of 3.3 uh, trillion cubic feet. Here's a, an even more detailed map showing the two licenses that uh, there are across. And on the west, you can see the exploration well drilled back in uh, August 2021, and then the appraisal well that uh, was drilled in the adjoining block, that was the uh, Belen East 1X well. Now that's uh, said to have added an additional 700 million barrels of oil in place and another 1.3 trillion cubic feet to, to get us to those numbers uh, that you see above there. So it's been a, a very, very significant discovery. Two wells, it hasn't really appraised the entire extent of the field, but E&I and partners confident enough that they can move forward with a development. And in this case, it looks like they've opted for an early production vessel. So it's the uh, Ferenz FPSO, and uh, it's going to be renamed the Balen FPSO once it arrives on location, built in uh, 1989 and recently refurbished in Dubai so that it could process 15,000 barrels of oil per day and 25 million standard cubic feet. Now, it's owned by e &I, and it was previously on the uh, Aguila field in the Adriatic Sea. So um, gas is going to be exported to shore via pipeline, and this is going to be the phase one development. So this is going to uh, develop around about 30 million barrels of oil equivalent. It's phase two. That's going to be once there is a full development sanctioned and uh, planned and moved and executed. And uh, that's going to develop somewhere over half a billion barrels of oil. So this is going to be, it's going to be like a, an extended well test. It's certainly going to de-risk and make sure that there's the connectivity and there's no issues with the reservoir. Although they're presumably very, very confident in what they have to date. Just in passing, this is our entry from Trove uh, from the Guia field. So you see, it's not just West Africa have data, we have data for everywhere in the world. And uh, here's a seismic line. Now, this is a line that Eddie Young put together. The one on the left, if you notice, has been turned around. It's a mirrored. But on there, you can see the sort of location of uh, where the Belen well is. And on this uh, seismic here to the right, you can see this very, very bright high amplitude anomaly here. Now, I'm not sure about the placing of this well. And and I struggle to actually see where this gas cloud is, but uh, that, that is the seismic uh, that's available in the, uh, in the public domain. Now here's the seismic line from the region, and this particular line here, I think is fantastic. It's from uh, CGG, and you can see these shallow horizons. I mean, this uh, kind of, it looks like a scour, or in actual fact, is it a gravity slide? Has the, all of this detached from uh, further up the slope and actually made its way down? I'm great for one-line interpretations, but uh, I'm not a geophysicist, as you've probably worked out for now. If I was, I would be kind of wondering whether, you know, this event should actually be staying a bit lower. However, anyway, it's uh, lots of interesting geology on here. And this unit in here between the orange and the yellow, you can see that it actually is just pinching out here. And you see a huge number of downlaps in this region. So some very, very interesting things going on. 
it's in this deeper section that we've uh, identified some things. Now, where they actually point to the reef buildup, I'm actually seeing a number of almost vertical events, as if some artifact within the, the seismic, and it may not be geology, but uh, you can have a look at that and convince yourself. In other areas, we do appear to have channels that do appear to be higher amplitudes, and they're saying here are overspill deposits, basin floor fans, channels, so lots of things being identified on this particular line. And it does look like fantastic data, so get in touch with CGG if you would like to uh, have a look at more of this information. Now here's the uh, stratigraphy. A Balen is uh, not unlike all the other finds in the region, and that is that they've all found the oil in the Cretaceous section. And here you can see the nearby fields. Here's Espoir, Tano, Foxtrot, Jubilee. It's highlighted where they have been reservoired. And in the case of Belen, there are two reservoir intervals here. There's the Santonian and the Senemanian Albion. So uh, these are the two regions highlighted with the red. Source rocks, abundant really throughout the Cretaceous in this region, in the South Atlantic, in fact. So described as being turbidite fan complex sandstones, the water depth here is around about uh, 3,775 feet. The well found a 48 meter oil column. The oil is a 40 API gravity oil. The Belen East well, there was a drill stem test done on that, and it flowed at 12,000 barrels of oil and 14 million standard cubic feet, so a fantastic rate for that particular well. Now, Ian and I uh, described this as Africa's first net zero emission project, certainly for the uh, phase one and phase two, uh, and we'll be monitoring that and reporting back in future. So this is what you get when you look at Trove for this region. This is the entry here for Belen, and uh, you can see we've got lots of write-ups, lots of seismic, lots of uh, sections, maps, etc., etc., and, and some pictures of the rig that we drilled it and the FPSO that's on its way to the field as we speak. And in fact, we have analogues throughout the Tano Basin, in fact, throughout West Africa, throughout the entire South Atlantic, right across on the other side, and here's just a, an example of all the, the fields in green, the discoveries, and all the prospects that we have in all of these regions in, in the sort of central West Africa. Our definition of that is shown on this slide here. So, so within the one database, not only do you get all the information on Cote d'Ivoire, but you also get it for Ghana, uh, Togo, and Benin. And then we have adjoining uh, troves, one that's essentially just looking at uh, the entirety of Nigeria both onshore and offshore and deep water. And then we pick up from uh, Cameroon and Equatorial Guinea and, and go all the way on down to Angola. And then here you can see Liberia, Sierra Leone, and this trove actually goes all the way up to Morocco. So get in touch if you'd like to see these. You'll save yourself man months of looking for this data. So uh, yeah, we do the rest of the world as well. So get in touch if there's anywhere you'd like to see. So we say there's two types of EMP companies in Africa. There's those getting regular updates for all the oil and gas fields, all the discoveries, all the prospects that are in the public domain, all the farm out information, the license round information, scouting data, and uh, all sort of infrastructure projects. And there's those companies that are wasting man years every year, just endlessly searching Google, wasting their time. We've done it for you. Which camp is your team in? Well, there you have it. Uh, there's West Africa, one of the biggest uh, finds in, in recent years, not uh, in the same class as uh, Venus Graf, uh, La Rona and um, Yonkers. But for now, um, Berlin certainly has been a fast track development. Um, we've got more videos coming on the channel shortly and uh, please stay with us and uh, look out for our next video coming out on Brazil. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, you'll be informed when we bring out a video. Give us a thumbs up if you like this one and get in touch and uh, we'll show you a trove and save you an awful lot of time. Bye for now.